Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bleed the air from a hydraulic floor jack. There's several reasons why you might need to bleed the air from a hydraulic floor jack. You may have just purchased the jack, you check the oil, you find out it's a little low and you need to add some oil and you might need to bleed that floor jack even if it's brand new. The second reason is if you wanted to change the oil in your hydraulic floor jack because maybe it got real dirty over the years and you dumped it all out and you wanted to put fresh oil in so it worked a little better, that would be another reason why you'd end up having to bleed it. The third reason is is that if you notice your floor jack it's not working exactly right, it maybe goes up and comes down a little, it could be that there's some air in the system, especially if, it, if it's a newer jack, it's probably nothing wrong with it, it just needs the air bled out. Probably other reasons why you might want to bleed a floor jack, but those are just some of them. This floor jack here I purchased from a gentleman off Craigslist. It's 30 years old. It, I had rebuilt the exact same jack for a friend of mine so I had experience and that's how I got interested in them. This is 30 years old and the gentleman bought it brand new. It's in really fine condition. That rebuilding process you can see that video. Um, there should be a link peering over my head to that video. The other thing about this jack is when I bought it from the gentleman he had bought it brand new 30 years ago. He gave me the owner's manual. There's a procedure outlined in here for bleeding the jack. It's really not that hard. Let me just show you quickly how to bleed the air so this video doesn't get too long. This video isn't sponsored. I purchased everything with my own money and all the opinions are my own. I will have links in the description where you can purchase some of the items that you might see on here or other items that might be useful to you. If you use my link to purchase it doesn't raise the cost of the, of the item for you but it does give me a small commission that they pay me if you use my link. So if you're going to be bleeding your floor jack and checking the oil, there's a couple things you should probably have. You should have some jack oil that's dedicated hydraulic jack oil or just for floor jacks. And don't use any other type of oil besides that. The filler hole is pretty small. You're going to need a funnel of some kind. Uh, I got these two. Neither one of them worked. So I decided to use this syringe. And this syringe is for really for bleeding bicycle brakes, but I've turned it into a dedicated hydraulic jack oil syringe. I'm not going to use anything but hydraulic jack oil in here. I don't want to cross contaminate any of my oils and that's really important with the jack and it's also important with bicycle brakes. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm checking the jack oil is I'm going to make sure that the release valve gear is open. So when I pump the jack it's not going to go up because the release valve gear is open. After this valve gear is opened I need to get it out of the way in order to access the filler plug. So the filler plug is a little difficult to see. It's right here on this floor jack. I'm trying to light it up a little bit so you can see it better. But it's right there. I'm going to take that off. So just like the instruction said, the first thing you need to do is take out your filler plug. Or in this case, I'm going to loosen mine up. And I can see I've already got some air bubbles coming out of it. Since I rebuilt this jack, filled it with oil, I've used it a couple times and there was a little air in there and there was bubbles coming out and a little bit of oil dripping out. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the filler plug altogether. This can get messy, but I definitely recommend having a rag and a surface that you don't mind a little oil leaking on. Now the instructions say all you got to do is just rapidly pump the handle. I can see some bubbles coming out of this jack. There was plenty of oil in it already. So it definitely got some air out of this thing. I'll take a look in there. The oil is so clear it's hard to tell if it needs any oil. What I'll do is I'll fill up my syringe and I'll try to put some oil in and if some oil comes out I'll know that it's already full. But I can't really see the oil it's so clear. So I'll put a little oil in my syringe here. I got any oil that might have been in my syringe out. Now I'll just take the syringe, add a little oil. Looks like I needed just a little bit of oil in there. Oil overflowed a little. I'm going to call that good. Got all the air out, added some oil. Put my top back on my oil to make sure I don't end up with a big oil spill here. Give that a couple more pumps. Looks good. I'm going to put the oil cap back on there, the filler cap. I'm going to tighten this back down. Now I got the filler cap back in. Manage to contain a little bit of mess with the oil. So now we'll just make sure the jack is working properly. We'll tighten the release gear, pump it up, and the way it should work is for every pump, you should go out up about the same amount every pump. 
That's an indication that it's working well. And I think we're doing good here. Also, if you're wondering what this little lever is, this was patented by Sears way back in the day, 1994. It's called the speedy lift lever. So when you get in close, you don't want to use it to actually lift anything, but you can position your jack. Say you're caught laying under the car, you could use this to just get your jack in position before you got in the position to actually start pumping it up with the big handle. Anyways, that's what that is. That's a speedy lift lever. So I think we've got a, a well-functioning jack here. And that's about it for that. Let's release it. No problem. There you go. So that's how you bleed the Sears 3.5 ton floor jack. This one's 30 years old. The same or similar procedure will work on jacks that are older and jacks that are a lot newer. If you just purchased a floor jack, it'll probably work on that the same way. Check the instructions on one you just purchased and make sure you're doing it exactly like they tell you. Uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Um, don't forget um, to check out my blog, the link in the description, muddyruts.com. I've got a lot of great blog posts there and I appreciate you watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Leave a comment and consider subscribing. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. Appreciate you watching the video and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget, on Muddy Ruts, the best is yet to come.